Operate computers and computer networks on ships. Communications. The communication system is a system model that describes a communication exchange between two stations, transmitter and receiver. Signals or information passes from source to destination through a channel. It represents a way in which the signal uses it to move from a source toward its destination. To transmit signals in a communication system, it should first be processed by beginning from signal representation to signal shaping until encoding and modulation. After the transmitted signal is prepared, it is passed to the transmission line of the channel. Due to signal crossing this media, it is faced with much impairment like noise, attenuation, and distortion. Global Maritime Distress and Safety System GMDSS The main purpose of GMDSS is to prevent unanswered distress calls and delay in search and rescue actions. On the 1st of February 1999, the fully implemented GMDSS came to picture. It was a set standard for usage of communication protocol, procedures and safety equipment to be used at the time of distress situation by the ship. When a ship uses GMDSS, it basically sends a distress signal via a satellite or radio communication equipment. It's also used as a medium for sending or receiving maritime safety information and general communication channel. Under GMDSS, all the passenger ships and cargo ships above 300 GT involved in the voyages in international waters have to carry equipment as per GMDSS. All passenger ships carrying more than 12 passengers when traveling on international voyages or in the open sea. Fishing vessels that are otherwise subject to the SOLAS GMDSS requirements have received a limited temporary waiver of the requirement to carry VHF DSC in C area A1 and MFDSC in C area A2 equipment waiver of certain global maritime distress and safety system GMDSS rules applicable to fishing vessels and small passenger vessels the waiver is conditioned on the requirement that these fishing vessels continue to carry a 406 megahertz EPIRB ANAVTEX receiver and survival craft equipment including at least 3 portable VHF radio telephones and 29 gigahertz radar transponders SARTs In addition, the waiver is available only for vessels that remain within the specified communications ranges and that vessels that, for example, travel in sea area A3 outside such range and generally more than 100 nautical miles from shore are not permitted to avail themselves of the waiver. Such vessels therefore must be fitted with the full complement of required GMDSS equipment in the absence of an individual exemption. Vessels on the Great Lakes the GMDSS regulations do not apply to vessels operating exclusively on the Great Lakes In the GMDSS framework there are different sea areas to allot the working equipment in the respective area A1 20 to 50 nautical miles VHF DSC A2 50 to 400 nautical miles VHF plus MF A3 70 degrees north to 70 degrees south VHF plus MF plus 1 and Marsat A4 above 70 degrees north or south HF plus MF plus VHF To understand the above table further the following are the ranges with regard to the frequencies in a specific band Medium frequencies 300 kHz to 3 MHz High frequencies 3 MHz to 30 MHz. Very high frequencies 30 MHz to 300 MHz. Very high frequencies VHF. For the purposes of maritime communication, the range of 156 MHz to 174 MHz is allocated. Channel 16, which is set at 156.800 MHz, is for distress, urgency and safety communication. Channel 70, set at 156.525 MHz, if for routine VHF DSC, digital selective calling, watch. The different elements of GMDSS are as follows. Anmarsat. Navtex. 
Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon EPIRB Search and Rescue Locating Equipment Digital Selective Calling DSC